It was a terrifying experience. I thought we was going to go to jail for murder. That day, you know, we were a little behind, so we worked until it was starting to get dark. We loaded up the equipment and hadn't driven very far when we caught glimmers of this glow coming through the trees. I urged Mike to hurry up and get up there. Travis had the door open before we even stopped. As he got closer, I heard the sound. One of the guys said, you feel that? I really panicked then. I told him, get the hell out of here. It didn't come directly to me. It came to a, a deputy sheriff. Three of us volunteered right away to tell him what had happened. But sheriff Gillespie definitely didn't believe it. He says that we better be certain, because we can get in a lot of trouble. When we went to search the next day, they split us up, and the whole time, the deputies asked me, you know, if you just tell us where the body is, we can all go home and get this over with. We're talking about 100 people. Combing through the wooded area, nothing turns up. All week long, I've been hearing they're going to set it up to make you guys look guilty. We're a rough-looking bunch then. Some of us have been in trouble with the law before. And y'all ain't never going to come out of that jailhouse. We couldn't get out. I tried to sneak out the back door of the day of the polygraph test. I was scared to death. On top of that, you have media. I literally would be on two telephones at the same time. We even got some coops in here now that's coming in and out to see the freak show, as they call it. Everyone descends. I just wasn't going to stand there and listen to it anymore. Granny says, this is Travis. I'm back. I need help. When I did hear that he had been returned, it was almost as unbelievable as the original thing. I just looked at my mom and says, I told you we didn't kill him. Travis Walton reappeared after several days with a bizarre story about a ride in an unidentified flying object. People were desperate to explain it away. Why are you sticking up with Travis for all this time? You know this really didn't happen. What happened to Travis after we took off in that truck, I can't tell you. I hated Travis for a long time after this. My whole world just tore up. But I believe every word Travis said about it. He's never lied to me about nothing. It's a net negative. We lost our jobs in the immediate aftermath. And now you're not able to talk about it with anyone because you know that they're going to laugh at you, they're going to look at you like you're crazy. But if you don't come out and tell your story, somebody else is going to tell it for you. There's a degree of responsibility. Uh, certainly, I have to accept the bad. If I can direct what's happened in a way that I can make something good happen in the world, I'm looking for it.